In the Keyword Research module, there's a feature there called AWA. And what this stands for is AdWords Advertisers. And basically it's a measure of competition, a measure of how many people there are competing for any given keyword um, using Google AdWords. Uh, and before I show you how we actually, um, how you can use this information in Market Samurai, I'd like to show you how we gather this information in the first place so you'll understand the significance of it and how useful it can be for you um, to gather this information in Market Samurai at the click of a button. So let's open up a browser and go to google.com forward slash sponsored links. Here I can do a search specifically for Google AdWords. So what I want to do is put my keyword inside inverted commas. Now what this is going to do is only bring back results of ads which are being displayed specifically when trout fishing is keyed in. Not when fishing for trout is keyed in, but when trout and fishing is keyed in in that sequence. Now the value of this is, is that this number over here, 157, is the total number of uh, ads being displayed for that keyword. Now this is valuable to me because I want to know uh, exactly what my competition is going to be if I want to uh, display an ad for that keyword. But if I was going to do this search manually, say 100 times or 200 times for all of my keywords to find out what all of my competition was going to be, this would be a very long, drawn out and tedious process. However, Market Samurai slashes the time that it takes to do this because it does it in one click and it does it all automatically. So let's have a look at the AWA feature in Market Samurai. In the Keyword Research module, the AWA feature is located uh, underneath the competition section and it's here, AWA, AdWords Advertisers. So if we select that and want to gather the data, all we have to do is click Analyze Keywords. Um, however, I've already done this previously, so they already show up. And what we can see is that for the keyword fly fishing, there are 35 advertisers. Likewise, if we look at fishing by itself, there's 1,036 advertisers, so there's a lot for that one. To verify this, all we need to do is click on one of the arrows and it will take us to the browser and it will show us exactly what I showed you before. So we're looking in the browser now, we can see right here 517 for the keyword trout. However, now that we know what the numbers are, we need to know how to read them. And what we're going to get is we're either going to get high numbers or we're going to get low numbers. If the numbers are low, this potentially means there's very little money in the market to be made for this specific keyword. However, it can also mean that this keyword has just been overlooked that the current advertisers just haven't seen the value of it yet. If this is the case, then there's potential opportunity for you to secure very good, cheap AdWords traffic. On the flip side though, if the numbers are high, then there's potentially a lot of money to be made in the market for this keyword. However, if this is the case, then there's also going to be a lot of competition. And if there's a lot of competition, this could be very, very difficult for you to rank on, uh, on the first couple of pages um, for that keyword and it can also be quite costly for you. So in order to find the keywords with low numbers of advertisers and therefore low competition, what we need to do is filter out all of the keywords with high numbers of advertisers. And we can do that by clicking on this little plus button here and uh, selecting a maximum number of advertisers that we want to be displayed for the keywords in this list. So let's say we wanted no more advertisers for any given keyword to be 15. So we could type 15 into this field, push enter, and automatically all of the other all of the other keywords with high advertisers are eliminated, leaving only the ones which we can potentially get very cheap and targeted traffic for. But it's important to note that the AWA uh, information is best used in conjunction with other uh, with other pieces of information such as the AdWords traffic count as well as the AdWords value. Um, using it with these other factors is going to give you a much clearer picture as to whether or not it's going to be valuable for you to advertise for these specific keywords. So in summary, AWA allows you to very quickly identify the keywords with low levels of competition that you can use to receive cheap targeted traffic from Google AdWords. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. There's more like this on the website, so visit www.noblesamurai.com forward slash tutorials.